Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a question I get asked from time to time in the comments on the channel is, what's the difference between Microsoft 365 and Office 2024? And I thought seeing that Microsoft has provided us with a support article explaining the differences between the two platforms, I thought a quick video just to give you a brief overview in case you are asking that question. And I'll leave this support article in the description if you'd like a deeper dive for yourself because there's quite a lot going on and all the questions you're asking i think should be answered but nonetheless as mentioned a quick overview for the purpose of this video now first of all starting with microsoft 365 because i think that's what microsoft's so-called flagship is all about or what they would like it to be and i'm quoting microsoft says that 365 is a subscription service that makes Sure, you always have the most up-to-date, modern productivity tools from Microsoft. There are Microsoft 365 plans for home and personal use, as well as for small and mid-sized businesses, large enterprises, schools, and non-profits. And for Microsoft 365, you pay a monthly fee, or as Microsoft says, you can save by paying for a full year. So it's a subscription service. And you get the fully installed and latest versions of Excel, Word, and PowerPoint, and Outlook, and OneNote for Windows or Mac. And Microsoft also says you'll always get the latest features, new tools, security updates, and bug fixes. PC users also get access and publisher. And something else Microsoft notes is that 365 now includes AI-powered features. So you get Copilot in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote. And obviously, 365 is the flagship that Microsoft is pushing. And then moving on to Office 2024. Microsoft says, once again, I'm quoting, 2024 is sold as a one-time purchase, which means you pay a single upfront cost to get Microsoft 365 apps for one computer. One-time purchases are available for both PCs and Macs. However, there are no upgrade options, which means if you plan to upgrade to the next major release, you'll have to buy it at full price. And the difference between 365 and 2024 when it comes to pricing is 365 is a subscription. Office 2024, you pay a single one-time cost. As in my case, in my region, there's my cost in my currency in my region. And there's also a third option which I actually use, by the way. I find it quite handy, and I don't need to have 365 or Office 2024. And the third option is you get Microsoft 365 for the web, which is a free version of Microsoft 365, which Microsoft says that Microsoft says you can use in a web browser. All you need is to sign up for a Microsoft account with a new or existing email address, and then you can use Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, and so on for free on the web. And this is the version I use in regards to a Office product of Microsoft. So guys, that's just a very brief overview. If you want a lot more in-depth information to the differences between those platforms, then there's a nice breakdown here that Microsoft has given, answering a lot of your questions. And then they've also got a FAQ here at the bottom. So hopefully that clears up a little bit of confusion as to the main differences between Microsoft 365, Office 2024, and Microsoft 365 for the web. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.